Hey what's up this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic video inside of Canva. Today I am going to present to you 5 interesting features you didn't know were also available in Canva. If you are interested stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Alright so here I am in Canva and the first feature I want to present to you is photos. Before I even show you the feature I understand when you're working in Canva you have a section where you can easily search for photos but look there's something interesting about this feature I'm about to present to you. You can see that this looks different. It looks like a, a brand new stock photo website or a unique stock photo website on its own and look you can search for photos if you want to take your time and search for interesting photos you can do that so let's say i wanted to search for gamer okay let's see how everything is going to look like you see how it looks it looks pretty cool like one of these stock photos website and i think it's cool to you know come here and search for images because with this you can actually see more than when you are designing in canva and using them so let's say i wanted to use any of these photos how do i use them so i can click on any of the photos and something interesting should come so you can see use in the design or no other option in the colors you can see it also generates the colors for you and gives you similar photos um, to what you have chosen so it's a very cool feature i believe you should start using inside of canva so the next feature i want to present to you is the canva icons so similar to the photos feature i showed you the layout is the same and um, the only difference is this time around you can only find icons with this okay so if i search for gamer again let me come and search for gamer you would realize that this time around i only get icons okay so i can click on any of these icons here and i can use them in a design and i can also get colors you know generated from the icon and i can also find related icons to any icon i choose i believe this is a very cool feature to use because um with this it gives you the chance to browse through icons easily and you can also you know click on the hat just so that it adds this icon to your likes and when you're designing the canva there's a section for likes okay like um icons or like photos and things like that and it's easier you just add them to your design and you can you know have a whole um happy ending in designing with that so the third feature i want to present to you is the graph maker okay and with the graph maker you realize that with how it sounds it means that this is only for graphs so to start you have to just enter your document type so i can just say gaming presentation okay and i can just click create my graph now so the next thing it will ask you is do you need help choosing the right graph for the project and if you know what you're doing you can just say i know what graph i need but if you don't you can just say help me choose a graph type so let's go to help me choose a graph type and you can see there are so many options so i would choose um let's say trends okay for now and a bar a giant graph or a line graph um let's go for bar graph okay so you can see then it presents you with a lot of templates you can easily use in canva and i believe that's a very cool thing you can do you know to create your presentations if they are going to have graphs the fourth feature i want to present to you is the canva apps feature so with this feature there is one interesting thing that it gives you a whole lot of apps that you can use canva for okay so with google drive it means that you can just create your designs and make them get imported or uploaded to google drive easily and you can see so many things you can create a video and import your video or upload your videos to youtube straight from canva and there are so many apps you can choose from okay depending on what you want to do all right and you can see even with your image um effects we have a lot of effects here you can also browse through and also add to your canva you understand so if i choose this one it just asks me use in design so i can just quickly use this effect in a design and um, just make sure whatever effect you're using is the right effect you design it so that your design doesn't just go off the bar okay and now you can see over here it says supercharge your workflow 
and we have google classroom pinterest and stuff like that so it means you can also create content and also post them on any social media platform or anywhere at all you want to share them to right from here so this is just like um, productivity apps now this last feature gets to be like a feature just for programmers and um, developers so let me just show you the app so this is the developer side of it and with this it gives you the ability to create your own um, effect your own tool okay inside of canvas so you can start building maybe um, your own program or your own your simple app and integrate it into canvas so that you can use it and i was going through this and i realized that with this you can actually um, create it and make it public so if you want to create let's say you're facing a problem in canva and you you know you have a programming background that you think you can help solve the problem you can just come here in the in the developer section and create you know any app or extension you feel can help solve the problem and with this there are two ways you can either share it and make it public or you can just share it with your team so there are two ways you can go about it and i believe this is a very cool um, thing to do so you can just come to create app and you can see um, who's the app for everyone or your team like i mentioned above and uh, you just go on with adding your programming languages and stuff but if you also want to learn how to do all of that there's a documentation here you can read okay and just get yourself updated or get yourself informed of what you need to do to be able to create your own special app for canva yes so these are the apps i believe are helpful and you know and you should start using them today the name is benjamin and let me know your favorite one inside the comment section always remember there is no limit to creativity and i will see you in my next video